everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio here with another Gina B. Aaron's Design Team Challenge. This is the one for the month of November, and I really should have posted this sooner, except for I put it off as long as I could because I could not decide what to do. I'm not a fiber person, like, putting it all over my stuff. Inks, yes. Fiber, not so much. So, a while back, I used this print on a project. This came from... Gina's Etsy store, and I am crazy about this thing. Look at all that color and the motion, and it's gorgeous. So I have this canvas bag that is meant to hold a tablet that was gifted to me a year ago by Peg Robinson, and I've not used it yet. And I am going to put this on the bag. Now, I've never done anything like this before, so uh, we'll see what happens. I'm not really sure. I have tracing paper, and I think in order to get all the swirls and doodahs in this, I'm going to lay the tracing paper on the canvas bag and then trace all these things and then color them in accordingly. Cross your fingers, this goes well. I don't know. I'll probably fast forward because how exciting is it to listen to me yammer on about tracing stuff and then swearing whether does it work. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you on the other side.
Okay, so this is the end of the project, and I want to say that I had a great time painting this. It may not look as close to Gina's um, digi print as I would like, but I have to tell you, it's just so much fun. I didn't think I would really, I don't know, I really enjoyed doing it. Um, so let me tell you some behind the scene things that happened. I left a, a message, a message, I left a caption on one of the segments where it showed, it says what happened or what didn't happen. I turned the camera off to do something and as I was drawing the graphite with the graphite paper and stuff, I, I forgot to turn the camera back on. <laughs> I was so excited that I could see the dark on it that I was like, okay. So I got up to either get a glass of water or go to the bathroom or do something, and then I forgot to turn the camera back on. So you missed all the parts where I kept lifting it up to look and just show you that it did work and then putting it back down again. So though, though nothing got I don't think it got filmed. So then there's a big jump from where I was lifting it up to look, and then all of a sudden there's paint on it. And as I started painting, I realized the camera was not on. <gasps> I would have died if I painted the whole thing. <laughs> no, no video. I, oh, that would have been very ugly. Okay, so let me tell you some things that went on that you didn't see that uh, should have been in the recording. When I slipped in, when I... When I started doing the, uh, when I slipped the chipboard in, I realized the reason it wasn't working is because of the inside of the bag. The inside of the bag has this in it to cushion it because, you know, it, your um, tablet goes in there. So I got so aggravated. It's styrofoam on one side and almost looks like material's been glued to it. It has. Material's been glued to it, a thin layer. So I took my scissors, turned the bag inside out, took my scissors and cut that layer out of the, the bag, the inside of the bag. This is the cushy side, this is the side I cut out. And then I slipped the chipboard back in again and then it was hard enough, because I knocked on it, it was hard enough that it would work better with the graphite. So that's when I did, I think that's how the camera didn't get turned back on is because I was cutting this out and I forgot to turn the camera back on. So I still have this. I could insert it on the inside or make a little square panel of it and just leave it in there. Doesn't matter. Um, so that's something that you did not see is that I just cut it out because there was too much cushion, which there should have been but I could not get the graphite to stick to the canvas because my surface was not hard enough. There was, you know, too much cushion in there. Anyway, so this is my finished product. And I want to say that I really enjoyed doing this. While my style is not like Gina's, <laughs> I tried. Um, I really love this. I think this would make a lovely shower curtain, a lovely bag. It's so cheerful and... I just love the colors, and I am not a pink person. I, you know, I, I'm not a pink person, but I have to say, I really do like it. I really do like it. So this is next to the last video for the design team. And I want to please remind everyone to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. I will leave the link down below for you to get a discount in uh, Gina's Etsy store. And I think this print is in there. If not, you don't see it, contact me or contact Gina. And I'm sure it will be in the store. Um, I had such a great time doing all this stuff. I have to tell you, every month I was like, oh, what am I going to do? I don't know. But this was perfect for me. This was a form of doodling that I just thought was so cool. I did um, throw away my paper. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I ripped holes in it from trying to press down hard enough. And it's covered with graphite, which leaves, you know, nastiness on your hands. So I did throw away this because, you know. But still, I mean, come on. How cool is this? I mean, really. Anyway, so go to Gina's shop, take a look at her digi prints. You might be able to put those on something 
or use them for a million different things. I've covered books with them. I've used her stencils to make ornaments. I've made a mirror. There's a million things with you can, that you can use from um, Gina's shop. You're looking for inexpensive Christmas presents for your family. Your uh, what's the matter with me? <laughs> with your favorite creative people, give them the gift of a gift card from uh, Gina's Etsy store and let them pick out the Gigi prints that they like. Let them pick out the um, the stencils and the stamps that they would like to use on something. I, th I think the greatest gift people give me is the gift of choice. I don't want a sweatshirt. I don't want a t-shirt. I want a gift card or or something from my Amazon account that I know I will use. You just give me the ability to choose and I think that's the greatest gift is I get to choose what I want. I just love this. <laughs> Can you tell? All right, guys. So next month, there's going to be a lot of video for the last video for the, for the year for the design team. And... Um, it's a doozy. <laughs> I've been working on it since September, August, August or September. I've been working on it because it's the last one. And so I wanted to do something extra special for the last one. Please do not forget to go to Gina's Etsy store, like, share, subscribe, comment, and give some love to the other design team members. They work really hard at making videos. And let me tell you what, after a missing footage, <laughs> it's enough to make you crazy. It really is. So just, you know, tell them that you appreciate their efforts. All right, so I will see you guys in December. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Bye.